to PC Basics back at you with another video. We got my brother playing Doom Eternal over there. What's up? He's a bit hyped because he's a huge Doom fan. If you can't tell by the shirt I got him. There's a little uh, guy right here, the Doom guy, Doom Slayer. And he's playing Doom Eternal 2 right there. Just so you all know, we, we do support the Doom life. All right. We got a few packages right here. The rest are still uh, showing up, but I just wanted to show you some things I got for an upcoming video. Hey guys, so these are the parts all right next to each other. Um, it's looking pretty nice, not going to lie. Obviously, it's not put together, but I just wanted to get a cool thumbnail. All right, guys. Now I'm going to be showing you how to put the processor and the um the ram onto the motherboard as you can see it already comes with a cmos battery i think all boards do um one thing i want to mention is the graphics card and the case has not shown up yet so i'm just gonna kind of put this together how i can right now come on okay so you just bend that back pull that out that lifts up here's the intercooler for the cpu as you can see, it's just a basic uh, four-pin connector. It also comes with some SATA cables for the hard drive, which my SSD I bought for this guy did not show up yet. Solid state drive. Basically, you just want to undo these tabs and pull the CPU out. All right, guys. So I got. I found out where the. Uh, that little triangle lines up on the CPU. You just set it in right like that. Put a little pressure on it. And then you lock it down. Just like this. And there the CPU is mounted. Now we're going to do the... HyperX RGB RAM. Take the knife. Just there we go. There we go. All right. This is DDR4. HyperX Fury RAM RGB. Now let's check out the megahertz real quick. It is. I don't know. Anyway, this is Kingston memory, 1.35 volts. And it does not have a warranty. Okay. Well, there it is. Here's what it looks like from the front. Is it focused? Yeah. Okay. So what you want to do before installing it is you want to look at the motherboard documentation, which is in this box right here. And here's the I.O. shield, which you'll need um, to see, as you can see here, this is slot one, two, three, four. And then here's the some drivers. Uh, so we'll need that. Um, let's see here. Yeah, that's really. There's not much about this is this is all it is for documentation. That's it. And the drivers. So first of all, we'll get this RAM installed. Let me check again, make sure. That is one, that is two. Okay. So first of all, you want to line up this hole right there with the hole on the or the little tab on the board. So this goes this way. You gotta open up these tabs. Oh, and um, the gray tabs are the ones you use for one and two. You just slide this right in the slot right here. And you're 
I'm gonna pick up the board a little bit. And then there's another one right there. Push that down. And it's seated in there. As you can see, the uh, the graphics card will go right here. Um, we got power supply. We got the little cable so he can connect his uh, his microphones. So like, because his case has a micro uh, microphone in it and audio connector separated, uh, this basically lets you plug in one headset and have it work seamlessly. Works for PC. PlayStation, Xbox, Switch, pretty much anything. All right, so that's that, and uh, I'll be back when everything else arrives. Tube, we're back. More things arrived. Same day, probably like not even five minutes later. So, we're going to open thy package with thy knife. Okay, let's, okay, it's down here, cool. All right. Hey, we got the thermal paste, so we can mount the uh, the CPU cooler. Okay, it's down there. Nothing's up here. Cool. All right. Hey, we got the we got the SSD. Solid state drive. <laughs> yeah, I think this is a terabyte. Should be a terabyte. Anyway. We got two things we needed. Time to put that on there. All right, y'all. Time to put the thermal paste on and the cooler, the CPU cooler. Thermal paste. Open that up. You need thermal take. Here, Rob. Quiet. Alright guys, we got the CPU cooler mounted in. Now all that's left is wait for the case to show up and the graphics card. And then we'll be ready to go. Y'all, so it took me a minute to figure that out. I looked at the directions and got it right away. So the fan goes on this cooler here, which took me a minute to figure out how to lock it in. But it's in now, so we're good. Um, I'll be back when I get the... Uh, the case and the GPU. See you guys. Tube, we back. It's been a few days. Um, we got another package for the computer I'm building. So let's open it up. Got my trusty scissors right here. Difficult with one hand, but I got it started. So there we go. I believe this is the graphics card. Yep, it is. Alright. It's a GeForce uh, GTX 1650. It's a pretty good card. Bigger than my GTX 1050 Ti. Should have uh, better performance. It's got some two HDMI ports and a uh, SATA port, it looks like. What is that? DP? I don't know what that is, but anyway, it's a good little uh, graphics card. It's got some tape on it here. No? Okay. There it is. Alright, I'll get it installed and I'll be back. Hey guys, so I'm back. This is the 1650 graphics card. It's got some uh, covers over it. Um, so it doesn't get broken over all the ports and everything. Um, so we're just gonna put this in and I'll be back. Hey guys, so this is what it looks like with the graphics card installed. Obviously, I don't have the case yet. But this is pretty much the PC. So we got an Intel Core i5. Um, what model number is that? I forget. Or not model number, but what? It's a Core i5. 9400F. Um, we got the Thermaltake uh, 
power supply that still needs to be installed once we get the case. We got the Be Quiet cooler, 16 gigs of RAM, and the graphics card. Um, obviously, this one has to be plugged in to a graphics card. Um, and then we got, or I mean the graphics card has to be plugged in the power supply, and we have a one terabyte SSD. So, uh, this video will be finished once we get the whole thing assembled, and I unbox the case first, I guess. So, uh, thanks for watching. We'll be back. Well, it's a few days later, probably like a few weeks actually, because the case got canceled. Had to buy a new case, and look what just showed up. The new case. We're going to open this up. How many times do I turn that thing off? Alright. Man, this is going to be hard to get out. I can tell already. This is what you call a cow boom and dude. Not really. Alright. Just going to flip her over as you see. So we got the case. Alright, this should slip off somewhere. Um, hmm. Oh, it did slip off in the front. Let's see. Oh well. Okay, so, came with some zip ties and screws and stuff. These are these silver looking things. I don't know if you can see them very well. But these are uh, standoffs for the motherboard. And these screws are, and mounting brackets are for uh, other things. So I think this just pulls off like that. Yes, it does. And that, this is tempered glass, by the way. That is the inside of the case. Power supply will go up here, hard drives will go in there, motherboard, graphics card, there it is. Got all the paneling off, the, the back panel and the front panel. Now I just need to get this, uh, this uh, power supply undone real quick, because I want to install that first. It's a little, a little difficult with one hand, eh? I use my foot. There we go. Yeah. Oh, this is difficult with one hand. I feel like I'm making a crappy video now. There we go. That's the plastic off on it. There we go. Pull that right up. There it is. Instructions. We'll just put that with uh, the rest of this stuff. Here's the actual cabling for the power supply. Here's, dude, look at these cables, they're all threaded and everything. That's sweet. And then let me get this bubble wrap off and get that installed and I'll be back. So right now I just flipped the case over as you can see here. And this is how you put the power supply in. It just goes right in there, screws in in the back. So uh, I'll try and do this with one hand, but we'll see.
Yeah, okay, but they Maybe in 2019, right? We'll look at last year because the workplace is changing dramatically right now in 2020. And what the fallout, what's happening, we haven't even begun to look at some of that, right? Our attention is definitely elsewhere. Um, and we know that the numbers for unemployment are going to drop tomorrow um, for this week. And they're projected. Get ready? Mm -hmm. I'm going to slot this in in just one second. Oh, please tell me oh, I'm not screwing my that up. Oh, well, they've added six million new unemployment applications. Um, some of that was because last okay. last week there were people who literally could not get through to file unemployment. Um, so we're catching up with what happened last week. But and last week I think we had five million. Great. Get in. Uh, my mom's tracking okay. me, so good thing she's here. So that means we went from three million unemployed there we Americans go. to nine million. That's in. That's so obviously going to impact our economy. We know the economy is being impacted. So we're going to look at historical data, right, to just kind of see where we were as opposed to um, the changing we'll situation. Put this one back on today. just because well, we we'll look have at it, I guess. The employment world, right? When we look at economics and the workforce. Cool. Yeah, that's good. And um, somebody's heading, so let me just see Okay. What that should be good. Okay. Well, um, well, I didn't give you yeah, okay. Thanks, yet. bro. Alright, YouTube. Don't mind the noise. I'm putting this PC together. And, uh, I think the I bought the wrong megahertz of RAM. If that makes any sense. I don't know. Um, so I took the RAM out and put it right there. I know that's not the safest spot, but it's not touching the carpet. So, whatever. Um... Basically, I think I'm going to have to send that back and get some 2,666 megahertz RAM instead of 3,000. Because uh, it's not working with the motherboard. And right now, I know there's no RAM in it. But when I turn it on, we get a little flash right there, which you saw. And the fans don't turn on. Which, I know the RAM's not in it, so that's going to affect stuff. But I got the SSD plugged in right here. I don't know what's wrong with it other than fans not spinning up. I made sure everything, I made sure the CPU was plugged in properly. All the plugs are in, all the 24 pin, the 8 pin, all the, the power button, the hard drive light down here. Everything should be plugged in properly, but uh, it's still not working. That's why it's kind of messing here right now, but uh, we're getting it figured out. Also, I took part my Dell Optiplex, make sure I was doing everything properly. And I took this uh, CPU cooler off, and I checked my i5 in there. <laughs> the CPU paste, or I mean, <laughs> the, uh, thermal the thermal paste in there was so bad that I scraped it off with my finger, and the thing was practically smoking. I burnt myself on it. 
So I put some new uh, MX4 Arctic thermal paste on it. So that's good. Uh, so that should be running a lot better and not crash so much. Especially when I'm editing videos with the Microsoft video editor. Here's the graphics card from uh, from uh, this PC. I took that out. I was troubleshooting that. That should be working fine. The RAM, not really. I'm going to put that back in the box. Probably send it back. So uh, I'll keep you guys posted. This is not going as planned. Little update video. I did some troubleshooting. Turns out the processor was doa dead on arrival so we're waiting for the new one to show up and i gotta send that one back what's up youtube noel brown back at you with another video or i guess same video it's been so long since i started recording this all the parts finally showed up and i just ran cinebench look at that 230 or 2338 points and it's number eight on the list that's pretty sweet. Um, so here it is. My room's a mess, so try not to mind that, please. Um, this is what it looks like. So it's got a GTX 1650 graphics card. It's got a um, thermal take cooler right there. Found a fan I just put there to help cool. Um... It's got 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM at uh, 2,666 megahertz. Uh, it's got an Intel Core i5. Um, and let me show you that. Those are the specs. I forget the processor name. So, oh, it's a uh, i5-9400F. So, which is a 6-core processor. Or, uh, I believe so, anyway. Right now the uh, the CPU is running at 90, 91 degrees, 93, and the graphics card is running at 107. So a little warm right now, but it's it's doing good. Um, that was right after the benchmark. So um, let me go the MS or not MSI um, System 32 MS Info 32. So. Um, yeah, these are the specs. Everything right here. I'm going to see if I need to update the BIOS or anything. And let me show you the graphics card real quick. If I go to display. And right there, 1650. And this time I actually made sure I got a real graphics card. And I'll show you how I know that. If I go to the tech power up, CPU G. Or CPU or GPU Z, geez. Okay, see, right there it's real, doesn't say fake, and right there it doesn't say fake. So there we go. Yeah, so I'll be right back. Real quick, real quick, I wanted to pull this up, show you the uh, the specs on here. I'm gonna rename the PC to the customer's name and put PC after it. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you liked the video. This is my first PC build, and it actually turned out, like, really nice. Everything runs great. Um, actually, let me show you my, uh, some Minecraft gameplay real quick. Just show you the frames you can get on this bad boy. Sorry, I'm so shaky. I'm holding this with one hand, as always. So if I open, like, something like this, not a flat world. And you hit F3 on the keyboard. So right now it's at 200 frames and rising. And let me move around a little bit so it loads all the terrain. And fly a little bit. And as you can see, even when I'm moving, let me make sure you can tell that I'm moving here. There you go. It still stays in the hundreds, pretty high hundreds actually. Um... Of course, it depends on usage. I'm going to install some other games and uh, see what the frames are like on there. Thanks for watching. I just turned the PC off, as you can see here. It's not glowing. And we're going to do a startup test to see how long it takes for it to boot. Alright, guys, I'm going to hit the power button, and at the same time, I'm going to hit the uh, stopwatch button. So, here we go.
One, two, three, go. And we're going to log in real quick. And obviously I had to type in the password and we made it to the, the lock screen pretty soon. So I'd say about instead of 18, 19 seconds, it was probably 16, 15, 16. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching. That's the boot test. It's all of it put together. There's the Cinebench scores, Minecraft frames per second. And we're going to get this to the customer in a few days.